So here we are. Everyone's completely freaking out. You can't buy Purell online. You can't get hand sanitizer. You can't get disinfecting wipes anywhere. This thing has completely taken over this world. I'm actually in Westchester, which is sort of where there is a big cluster of this little virus that's going around. So I'm really kind of only going out when necessary. I'm pretty busy with work anyway, so it's not really anything different. And so there's a few things that I'm doing just to sort of take care of myself. And the main goal here is to boost my immune system. So some things that are always recommended to make sure your immune system is nice and strong are drink lots of water. That's pretty much what you should be doing anyway. Get plenty of sleep. That is super important. And then finally, eat well. This is the time to kind of get nutrients into our body. And if we give our body the things that it needs, even if we do get sick, we might be able to battle it faster. So my thought is maybe some of you guys are just staying at home, hunkering down, you wanna eat healthy, you don't know what to do, you kinda of wanna maybe meal plan, this is something that is gonna work for you. There's basically no standard recipe for minestrone soup. It's kind of a tomatoey based soup that uses whatever you have around. Some of the ingredients that I have are regular vegetables, celery, onion, carrot, garlic. I've got some cannellini beans. It's best to use dry beans always, but the idea of this sort of taking advantage of the pantry and stuff that we've sort of set up a month ago, really not knowing any of this issue was going to happen, but this is why we prepare ourselves, is so that we're ready to feed ourselves with a lot of stuff that we should already be having. And so I always keep cannellini beans in my pantry, and so I'm gonna use them today. I've got some ditalini, which is the pasta that is used for minestrone. It's just a little noodle with a hole in it. And this can totally be vegetarian, but I have some pancetta left over from the Grisha episode, so I'm gonna kinda cook that and use that to flavor this, just so it's really delicious. I've also got some kale that I'm gonna throw in here, which is always super healthy to use. You know I like kale. And then I've got some Brodo. This should be the amount of liquid that we use for the soup. And if we need any more, we can add water. So this is it. We're basically gonna just, you know, cook all this stuff together. All we need to do is roughly chop vegetables. So let's just jump right into it. Just chop them like normal. We'll chop the carrots into little dices and the celery into dices and onion into dices. Got my frozen bag vegetables here. Just keep adding to it. Make sure your kale's washed, always. And so here we have our chopped up vegetables, mirepoix. We've got our cannellini beans. We've got some thyme and a little bay leaf tied up right here. We've got our pasta, our kale, and our pancetta. It's all pretty simple. It's gonna come together really quickly. Let's move on over to the stove and make it all happen. Get a pot on medium heat and then add the pancetta and a little bit of olive oil and just start rendering out that pancetta fat. You wanna get that pancetta fat fully rendered out and get the pancetta meat nicely brown. Adjust the heat if it gets a little too hot. Then we can add the vegetables. Season them so we can release some of that moisture and we just wanna sweat the vegetables until they're soft and translucent. Once soft, we can add our broth, as well as our tomatoes. Give it a nice mix. Then add the herbs, the kale, and the cannellini beans. Another round of seasoning. We season them in layers. And if you have a Parmesan rind, you can add that as well. Mix that all together and bring that up to a boil. Once boiling, you wanna drop that down to a simmer, and we just wanna cook this for about 
30 or 40 minutes until the vegetables are nicely softened, but still have a little bit of bite to them, and the flavors have come together nicely. Once the soup is done, give it a final taste and adjust the seasoning. Now the base of the soup is ready. Now this ladle is a one cup ladle, so about two to two and a half cups is a serving of soup. So ladle out a couple servings into a smaller pot that we can eat now and save the rest for later. Add the ditalini and a little bit of water if you need to thin it out a bit. And then we're just going to cook that pasta until it's perfectly al dente and the sauce has thickened nicely. Now you're ready to serve. Now before you plate this, mm, smells really good. You wanna season it. I think you could use a little pinch of salt and then a little black pepper. I'm gonna garnish with a little Parmesan cheese and then some really good finishing olive oil that my friends at Sardell started selling. It's straight from Puglia some of the best olives in the world. This is a finishing olive oil that we're just gonna finish on top. A little bit of fresh parsley as well. I love me some cheese in my soup. It's comfort in a bowl. It's tomatoey, it's brothy. You can control the thickness. You can make this like chili-like. You can make it a little soupier. Mine is like a little balance. It gets thicker as it kind of sits and as the pasta cooks for sure. Like I said, you could always adjust with water depending on how you like it. The pasta is perfectly cooked. Now if we put the pasta into the big pot of soup. When we put that away now, because I have so much more left over, about half of that left over, that pasta continues to absorb the soup. It will double in size, it'll get mush and like just totally overcooked. It's not even cooked, it's hydrated. It gets overhydrated and then it's no good. Now we have the base soup ready. We can put it away in the fridge and whenever we want to make more soup, we can cook the pasta into it and it's perfect every time. Of course, if, if you don't eat pasta or gluten-free, you could just omit that, although it does add a lot. Well, there you have it, guys. This is something that you can make with a lot of the stuff you'll find in your pantry. If you got your brodo situation going, you have really good quality quality healthy broth or stock that you could use. Your freezer should be full of it. You got cans of tomatoes ready to go, beans in the pantry. You should have some vegetables lying around. Maybe you don't have everything. Maybe you have potatoes. Maybe you have some green beans or something, whatever, throw it in. That's what this soup was made for. Super hearty, super delicious. The perfect thing to make when you're in quarantine. Never thought I'd say that. I'm thinking of my friends over in Italy. I know you guys are going through a particularly tough time right now, so uh, thinking of you guys, sending you guys some love, and I know the rest of the followers here in America are as well. And to everyone else in the world who is having a bit of a moment. Hopefully this makes you feel better. Hopefully it gives you something to cook. Things are just a little crazy right now. They will blow over. Keep your head on straight. Be smart, be clean. And as always, that's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself, guys, and go feed yourself.